What's up guys, what is up and welcome back to Don't Starve Shipwrecked in Season 3 of this awesome series and today, boys and girls, lads and lassies, we are going to be partaking, indulging in the season with one of the three new characters here, I did some black magic to go ahead and get him, and uh, the Monkey King is who I'm interested in playing, Wilbur, some of you guys, uh, from what I saw in the comments, you guys see him uh, in the finale of Season 2, uh, you guys seem to think it was a pretty good character, and it's pretty fun to play with, and honestly, it's the newest character, and that kind of coincides with the disaster of Season 2, so, uh, or the finale of Season 2, so I think it's a perfect way of hopping on in and having ourselves a good time, and uh, in regards to what he can do, What's so special about him? I think he's just like he can run. Uh, monkeys don't mess with him. There's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but it, it'll be exciting. And it's something new. It's not a character I know how to play. Unlike uh, the first two times we played, those were or Wilson and uh, the Fire Lady. They were both two characters I actually played before. Uh, so I kind of had experience with them. This is going to be a little bit brand new to us. And uh, that's kind of why I'm excited, because we haven't exactly partaken in anything with Wilbur. And uh, there we go. The thing about him is he can't talk. That's what I saw under the thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's his stuff. He has 175 hunger, 150 sanity. Uh, if we, like, examine stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all he says. 175 food, 150 that. And when we walk, after a while, I believe we begin running. There we go. We Oh, evil flowers already. What the hell is this crap? Get out of here, evil flowers already. Anyways, after walking for a while, uh, we do end up breaking into a run, which is going to be pretty useful, because that allows us to kind of escape from stuff uh, relatively easily. And, however, I think what the thing about uh, breaking out into a run is that it does make our hunger go down a little bit quicker, which can probably prove to be a little bit pop 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 matic problematic. So we're starting out fresh in this brand new season. And honestly, I'm super excited, as hopefully you guys are as well. It's a fresh start, and... I mean, this time we're ready because that volcano update really screwed us because I wasn't ready for whatever the hell that was. Also, wait, can we get the uh, X? Yes, we need an X. So we can go ahead and chop down some trees, start gathering up some wood. And uh, day one is beginning. Well, not beginning to wind down. It's beginning to begin. It's still literally the first fourth of the day. Uh, but the awesome thing about this guy is that moving longer distances, when he breaks out in that run, he becomes extremely mobile, which is going to be absolutely insanely useful uh, for things like island exploration, just anything like that. Also, grabbing some of these seashells is going to be good. Getting a buttload of these to begin with. Uh, looking at the map-wise... We seem to be on a decently sized starter island. Uh, will we stay here? Probably not. I'd like to find an island. Hopefully with, uh... I've yet to find the stupid beefalo equivalent in shipwrecked. I've seen the poop that they lay in swamps sometimes, but I've yet to find the swamp beefalo pretty much. And I kind of want to do that, so that's... I think that's something we might do. i make sure to collect some more limpets, collect pr plenty of grass, make sure we got the raw resources. Uh, chop down some trees, get ourselves some coconuts and some wood and have ourselves a good time there. And uh, honestly, just enjoy things and enjoy this fresh, fresh, friggity fresh, F-R-E-S-H, Izzily character. I, I wasn't 100% sure if I was spelling fresh right there. I was like F-R-E-S, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, is that a letter? I don't know. <laughs> but we are continuing our exploration of the island. I don't know, we probably just want to get a boat going kind of ASAP uh, if we want to get that. We really just need to get some wood. Uh, we can also make a bamboo one, but for that we got to make a machete. And for the machete, we got to go ahead and pick up plenty of flint. Uh, if we want more flint, we could probably craft up the pickaxe. And that's kind of a tool we need anyway. Once we get the pickaxe, we can chop down some rocks. And from the rocks, we'll hopefully get some more flint. Yes, beautiful. And some nitre. Uh, we're not going to be needing nitre up until later when we get to the endothermic fire. Because apparently the nitre can be used for the endothermic fire. I didn't know that. I did know that, but I never ended up making an endothermic fire. So, yeah. Moral of the story. Star. Dumb. Stupid. LOL. I don't know. I'm not good at morals of the story. Alright, I just... I, I, I play games. The moral of the game, on the other hand, that's something I could do. Anyways, uh, our exploration of the island seems to be going pretty well. Now, will we set sail today? I don't know. I kind of do want to craft the machete. And with the machete, hold up. Let's craft that bad boy up. Uh, I think there is the swampy area down there. We should be able to get some bamboo and at least begin with a pretty good raft. I I mean, we're not going to be able to get a nicer one up until we get to the science machine. 
And for the science machine, we need gold, and for that, we gotta do some exploration, so it's gonna be pretty fun. But as long as we can craft up with that campfire, which we have plenty of materials to do. Uh, oh, look at that, we got the crate. I never actually knew... Can we break that stuff with a hammer and get resources? I don't have the room in my inventory right now. I, I, what I'm thinking is maybe we'll revisit. But, uh, is that a thing? Can I, can I break that stuff and, like, get stuff out of it? I don't know. Also, why are those rocks slightly different? Do those have, like, a significance? Do they just drop different stuff? Are those the limestone rocks? Hold up. Are these the limestone rocks? No, okay, they kind of look semi-limestone. I guess they're just kind of different rocks. I don't know, I'm weird. But anyways, I love that- I love how he carries the pickaxe in his tail. Uh, when he breaks out into a run, it does become extremely useful just because he's able to outrun pretty much most anything in the world. Also, I like how that seashell's right on the border. Uh, oh, a living tree. We could uh, chop him down or leave him there for now. I know he'll be useful later for when we get to the black magic section of things. Uh, I think we need his like living tree bullcrap for something, something or other. Uh, anyways, we gotta get ourselves one more root and uh, three more of these. I see those. Oh, we got a berry. I want to get that. Our food is staying relatively okay. I mean, we've well, we've gone through two thirds of a day and it's gone down by 45. So really, our food decay isn't super bad on this monkey, which is kind of good. Uh, he's got pretty high starting food. His health is a little bit lower than our last character. I think she had 150 to begin with. Also, I'm just gonna eat these berries. It's I don't even care. This isn't the biggest island and. We'll come back eventually, I think, and actually get these bushes, but uh, yeah, let's get this stuff, we get ourselves a raft, and honestly, get away from this island, there's not much for us here. Maybe pick up, hey, we, our sanity's perfectly fine, too, I just realized that, so. Uh, let's go ahead and craft up a raft, get the hell out of Dodge, and yeah, let's head, let's let's go directions. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe, if he hollers, let him go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We're going to the west, boys and girls, that's how we make Potentially important decisions by any meaning mining mode speak of the devil. Okay, it's very deep water and nighttime is coming You know what we'll head to the west next episode. I think that's a good idea Because uh, this could end badly. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and continue stockpiling up on some wood uh, Potentially get like a banana from this or something. Oh, that's another thing. I think bananas are extremely beneficial to this guy I don't know if it's sanity food or something, but something about bananas are very awesome for him. Don't quote me on what, but there's something about bananas that are just amazing. Uh, we're getting a bunch of coconuts, which is kind of good. We can cook that up for food. Uh, we're at 137 food, though, just for meeting up those berries. So we should be doing pretty okay there. We got some eggs here, got some pine cones. Uh, I'll, probably, I'll carry those with, you know, whatever island we get to next. And just go ahead and chop everything down. Uh, actually, no, let's go ahead and light a fire here. We'll have this be kind of the campfire ground. And uh, our sanity, the thing that sucks about adjusting to this is our sanity is going to pretty much be consistently going down during the night. We can't rely on fire to Shut up, parrot! I hear you talking crap over there. Uh, yeah, we can't rely- okay, I don't stink. Actually, I might stink. I am a monkey. That parrot has a good point. I wish I could attack. Shut up, parrot. I wish I could catch you in a tree. Yeah, fly away. Fly away. He got scurred. He got scurred. Anyways, uh, yeah. We don't have a quick sanity recovery. I mean, our our sanity recovery method is gonna be like bananas. That's not the most reliable method in the world. Ooh, actually, let's build this freaking thatch pack. Hell yeah! Begin with that. At least have a little something to show for. Uh, we'll get the nicer backpack. Uh, to get the backpack, do we need a science machine? Okay, so it's not gonna be too hard to make. We just gotta get the science machine going. Uh, but anyways, as soon as this is over, we're gonna hop on that raft, head on over to the west. And uh, enjoy ourselves. Oh, a yawningly fantastic time. Why am I yawning? It's like 6 p.m. It might be the jet lag. I'm still a little bit jet lagged. I'm like feeling so tired. And it's like, I don't know. I've been feeling really tired lately at like 10 p.m. Come back from my vacation. Speaking of that, I got some cool footage from my vacation. Not as much as I wish I got. But I got some cool footage of this excursion I went to. Uh, and I kind of went on buggies through the forest and whatnot. It was, it was pretty cool. Through this like national park. I don't know if it was national, but it was like a park. And it was really cool, beautiful view. Uh, can hopefully edit together something from that and be absolutely awesome. I don't know. I'll try. It's a little update in that regard. But the daytime should be coming. Let's go ahead and monkey our way over here. We got ourselves the rest of today for this episode. We also have a little bit of seeds. 
And uh, let's go ahead and drive this raft. I would collect some more bamboo, but I mean, actually, no, we have more room in our inventory now, so kind of doesn't matter too much. Um, I would say I want to head to the west. Uh, so we'll head to the west. Yeah, we'll do it. It's whatever. We just got to dodge these waves a little bit. Is it a good idea to be going to the west already? Oh, the water gets even deeper. This is kind of scary. I'm kind of... Oh, did that give us a boost or hurt us? I hope that was a boost. I don't want to get hurt out here, but... We're already in deep water, so I don't know. We're, we're going with a ballsy maneuver here. Uh, maybe it'll pay off. We find an awesome island, or maybe we die already. <laughs> Season 3, Episode 1. The beginning, the finale. No, that'd be awful. That would really be a testament to how bad I am. Speaking of how bad I am, there is no end to this sea in sight, is there? Did we make a mistake? Oh, I should've cooked some food over the fire, too. What was I thinking? Our limpets are starting to go bad. Hold up, did we leave limpet rocks unharvested there? We did. Wow, how did I manage to leave limpet rocks unharvested? Also, can we please get somewhere here? Oh no, that got us wet, didn't it? Uh, er. Uh, Alright, well we're coming across- Oh no, what the hell? I pressed the button. I pressed the button. Okay, that was a bad- I don't know what button I just pressed. Something happened, but okay. We're heading into kind of the shallower water. This is good news. We should be coming up on some land here. Uh, I, I'm so used to the faster boats of season two that we had going. So this is a little bit of an adjustment period here. Ah, damn. Oh my god. We are extremely wet. Oh no. Dude, we're about to like actually start. This is bad. Okay, I'm just going to completely avoid these waves. Okay, hold up. Now it's just deep water again. Did we really mess up? Okay, we're just going to start heading south, catching some of these waves. And uh, taking things from there. How about that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's 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 head south, follow the waves, and hopefully find something. Because if we don't, oh my god. Okay, okay, good. Shallow water, shallow water. Thank God. Please, please, something, something. I'm starting to really go insane. I'm a monkey, man. My sanity, it's fragile. All right, if I go insane, freaking Rise of the Planet of the Apes Part Two. It's happening. All right, you don't want me to go insane. That's how bad things happen. Speaking of bad things, can I please find land? <laughs> I really don't want to be stranded out at sea. Okay, beautiful. We found something. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the biggest island in the world, but I mean, it's a start. We are pretty far away from our other area, and there's actually... I think we could have taken a shallower path that entire way, but whatever. Uh, we found this island. Honestly, at this point, we're just looking for gold so we can get that science machine going and uh, begin everything. Unfortunately, it does not seem that gold is looking for us. So, wow, this is a really small island, too. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll pick some flowers for sanity's sake and then eat them up. Although, not really. Oh, no, we can actually, we can hold it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, mm, I don't know, that's sanity. I kind of want to dry off here. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know, this is kind of an iffy situation. I uh, will sail a little bit longer if we don't come across any land anytime soon. We'll kind of start making our way back here. I don't know. There's no way we're not going to come across another island. This, like, whenever there's shallow water, there's always more than one, right? Please. Please be more than one. <laughs> oh, God. If there isn't, we're really screwed. Ah, come on. I'm kind of just periodically looking at the map here, see if we can't find something on the map. Uh, something we might miss otherwise. Uh, unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. Oh no, the edge. Oh, please, one more island game, one more. Yo, don't starve, gods. Don't starve. I listen. I have a plea for you. Give me land. I won't die. We're both happy. You know. You know who who wants season three to end on episode one? Probably some. There's some sadistic person in the crowd who's like, oh my god, yes, this disaster would be glorious. No. It would not. It'd be disastrous. Period. Um, no, this is really bad. This is actually really bad. We have we are the unluckiest people imaginable. This has to be a joke, right? Right. It's like, it's like the Truman Show. Yeah, there we go. It is a joke. Haha. <laughs> Suckers. I knew it was a joke. I called you out on your shit. What up? Ain't gonna do nothing. Uh, speaking of doing nothing. Ooh. The one man band. And doubloon. Hmm. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to explore the rest of this island first because 
This is a trap. This is a trap in the making. I was meant. The de I I was meant by the gods to come here. Oh, speak of the devil. We got we got this environment. Oh, that means there might be the stupid uh beefalo. The swamp swampalo. I'll call him the swampalo. Uh also we have a crate. I should really craft a hammer, shouldn't I? Okay, let's go and get a couple twigs so I can break this crate and see what's inside. Let's at least begin doing that, shall we? Yeah. Oh, and we got a pigment area. Okay, cool. I think we can feed them seeds or flowers. I forget. We can feed them one of the two, though. And we can begin harvesting some manure from them. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to craft up the hammer. It's hammer time. And we can hammer this thing. Just boards. Nothing inside the crate. What a disappointing crate, man. If I was a crate, I would want to be full. I don't want someone to break me and then just be disappointed. Okay, this is really weird. Why are there crates scattered on this island? I've never really, like, come across an island like this. Also, our sanity is in shambles. Alright, you know what? I think the one way we're going to salvage this is by making a fire. That seems to be the best remedy so we can dry off a little bit. And uh, I need some bananas in my life. Right, that, that's the that's the monkey part of me talking. We, we need some bananas. And, uh, I mean, this is good, though. Oh, what the hell? Tuna. I didn't notice that. Ballfin free tuna. Okay, so the crates can have stuff. So that was just a very disappointing crate over there. Okay, I was just making sure. Uh, let's cook these limpets up, though. Get ourselves some of that. Mm. Are these gonna... Uh, that's a decent amount of food. And we got some coconuts, too. Can I cook the coconuts? Yo, hold the fuck up. Can I not cook these coconuts? Since when are coconuts not cookable? What the fuck? Is this a glitch or did they stop coconuts from being able to be cooked? Aww. I'm not having coconuts, man. Alright, let's get some seaweed. Our sanity really is in shambles. Uh, Food-wise, we're really struggling, so we should probably spend the next day not exploring. Uh, probably looking for a somewhat viable source of food. I see you, slot machine. It's calling to me. Listen, guys, I have a confession. I could legally gamble when I was in the Dominican Republic. So I put 20 bucks in. I lost it. That's the story of my addiction. And it's calling back to me with virtual money that doesn't matter. So I'm very sorry. But I might have to do this. And also, really, we are not looking in good shape. Whoever told me that this character was awesome, why? I don't know. I mean, it'll be fun, though. It'll be an adventure, and it'll be a little bit of a struggle. We actually have to learn the character and uh, his strengths, his weaknesses. Uh, his strengths are running away. He's a pretty quick runner. He's Whenever he breaks out into that run, he is faster than pretty much all of the characters and other entities, too, so he can run away from whatever. Uh, just that I'm kind of scared. You know what? Let's pick up that tuna. Can we eat this tuna? We can open it. And we got, oh, a fish steak. You know what? That's cool. I'm going to eat the fish steak, though, because I'm really hungry. There we go. We're up to... Okay, so full... Oh, yo, yo, yo. No, 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 no. Oh! 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 Almost had a repeat of season one. Okay, no. I, fire management, we're good. We're good. I didn't mess up too disastrously, but... Uh, if you want to see a mess up disastrously, tune back into the rest of the season and see what situations I can get myself into because that's going to go ahead and do it for episode one and part one of season three as Wilbur? I think it's this guy's name. I don't know. He's... The monkey. The monkey. That's what we'll call him, the monkey. So, uh, other than that, though, that's what you're going to do for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video as always, and hopefully, I'll see you next one.